2023 has been a crazy year for real estate, especially here in Las Vegas. As rates increased to over 8%, we saw home prices drop. So what's going on currently with the Las Vegas market as we end the year? Is it still a good time to buy, sell, or invest? And what can we expect going into 2024? Well, let's dive into those questions. Hey everyone, Isaac here with the Five Diamond Group. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into the latest uh, of what's happening in the Las Vegas real estate market as of December 2023. But first, I want to give you guys a quick fun fact, especially when we talk about relocation. Did you know that Las Vegas is a hot spot for movers, especially from Los Angeles? Las Vegas is now the second most popular destination for people relocating in the U.S., only behind Sacramento. So yes, so we're seeing an increase of people moving from the surrounding states, but especially from California. Tell me in the comments down below what you think about that, and have you noticed a lot of people moving in, and do you see more from L.A. than anywhere else? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, let's get back into the numbers. In November, the market saw some changes. Now, the number of single-family homes that sold was about 1,435 houses, which is a bit lower than the previous months, and the median sales price for these homes stayed at $450,000. New listings were slightly down, and the overall supply was around three months' worth. Now, typically when we see inventory this low, we would consider it a seller's market. However, the low inventory combined with lower sales has really created a buyer's market. And we're seeing that buyers have been able to get the sellers to contribute towards their closing costs. They've been able to negotiate lower prices. Overall, they just are getting some really, really great deals right now. And although this is very true for a lot of buyers, homes that are priced right have been have had recent renovations and are marketed properly, meaning that they've gone through some uh, marketing promotion, have done the photos right, the videos, and all the, the everything to be able to expose it out to the world. Those homes are getting multiple offers and are selling at either asking price or even higher. Take, for instance, one of our listings. We had over 50 people come through our open house and we received multiple offers in a matter of days. And some of those were over asking just because we did the marketing right and uh, it was priced right. Now, for those that are eyeing the luxury properties, there were 88 homes that sold over $1 million. And get this, one of those homes that sold, sold for $25 million in just nine days. Check this property out. This sprawling 16-acre mega compound at 99 Spanish Gate Drive was built in 1997 by Prince Jeffrey Bokai, brother of the Sultan of Brunei. Uh, this luxurious estate encompasses over 110,000 square foot of living air space across 10 buildings, including a 37,000 square foot uh, main house with five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, an extensive athletic club covering over 47,000 square feet, uh, two guest homes, villas, a study pavilion, and a carriage house. I don't think I've ever seen a house with a carriage house, but this one has it. And oh, whether you are a car enthusiast with an extensive car collection or not, you'll have plenty of parking space with 16 interior and 30 outdoor parking spaces. And let's not forget the seven bedroom caretaker staff residence. Now that is opulence living in Las Vegas. Well, maybe you're not looking to spend $25 million or get a house that big, but maybe you are looking at buying something that's brand new. Well, builders have been offering some pretty cool incentives like lower interest rates, buy downs, uh, three, two, ones, what they call, or especially as we end the year, they're trying to just get rid of their inventory. So it's really a great time to check out new constructions, especially their standing inventory. Now, those are homes that are either fully completed or right at the end of the building stage. So most of the finishes have already been picked by the builder and so you won't have a lot to say in that regard but those are the typically the ones that are going to have the, the best incentives moving on so to recap 2023 and the las vegas market we began the year with home prices in the low 400s as rates had increased it priced out many people causing many homes to take some big price reductions and we also saw a lot of people 
pull their houses off of the market because it became cheaper to rent than to pay a mortgage. And those that already own homes that were thinking about making the moves, well, they saw those rates and they saw the rate that they currently had and decided that, hey, it wasn't the best time uh, to sell. But buyers who decided to stay in the market uh, and decided to go and shop regardless of its conditions will probably got some really, really great deals, especially those homes that sat longer on the market because those sellers were probably more willing to negotiate. Now, towards the end of the year, we've seen rates drop down a little bit. That helped a lot of buyers get back into the market and secure a home where the ones that were already shopping get a better mortgage than they expected. And now, with all this said, what can we expect for 2024? Well, according to experts, many predict that mortgage rates are likely to fall into the 6% range in the coming year. And it most likely it won't be an immediate drop. It's going to be a gradual one. Now, as rates drop and the cost to buy down points lower, it's going to allow a lot of people to really reconsider whether they want to get back into shopping. Because unless you're paying cash for a house, we all are really concerned about what our monthly mortgage payment is going to be. So lower interest rates or the lower costs to buy those rates will give buyers more uh, purchasing power, meaning they're going to be able to afford more for the same monthly payment. Increasing inventory alongside with buyers is going to be the key to maintaining a healthy and neutral market. And that's really what we want. It's going to allow homeowners to sell their homes for top dollar. And it's going to allow buyers to get uh, to avoid bidding wars or get frustrated with making offer after offer. So should you buy now or should you wait until uh, the rates drop? Well, there's no one answer fits all. The current market right now favors those who have great credit, high income, or those who can put a large uh, down payment. Here's the reason why. With a great credit score, you'll be able to shop around for a very competitive mortgage rate, and that's going to be able to keep your mortgage payment really affordable. Now, if you have enough money saved, now you can ask the seller to pay for that rate buy down, lowering your monthly payment immediately. And if you have a large down payment, it's also going to be easy for you to refinance when rates drop, lowering your monthly payment in the future. However, because there are not many buyers, if you can buy a home now, you'll be able to secure a great deal. You'll be able to get closing costs paid for. You'll probably even be able to negotiate a lower price point. And even if you don't have much saved, you can use down payment assistance programs and those seller contributions and essentially walk into a property with very little out of pocket. Now, if you decide to wait, you'll most likely be able to afford more once rates drop. But you're also going to take the risk that there's going to be more buyers in the market that are going to be competing for the same house, meaning that you're probably going to be submitting multiple offers and you might get a little frustrated. So definitely right now, you can avoid all that. Well, regardless if you're deciding to wait or buy or sell now, it's very important for you to have a consultation with a local expert like myself. And that way we can set up a game plan that's going to suit not just your needs, but also your wants. And like I said, even if you're not thinking about it now, we can definitely set up a long-term plan so that way you're prepared for when that day comes. Anyways, that's the scoop on Las Vegas real estate as of now. So whether you're going to be buying a $25 million compound or just a cozy condo, the market's got something for everyone. So if you like this information, please do me a favor. Go ahead and share it. Send it out to your friends and family that are thinking of moving or buying here. And don't forget to hit and like and subscribe. That way you can stay updated with all of our, all of our videos. Anyways, my name is Isaac, and I'll see you guys on the next video.